space invaders. In 1982, the world's first computer virus was written from a bedroom of a 15-year-old boy. They called it First One in the Wild. Attached to a game, it released on the 50th play, made itself known in the form of a poem. If a computer booted from an infected disk, a copy of the virus was placed in the computer's memory. When an uninfected disk was inserted into the computer, the entire DOS would be copied to the disk, allowing it to spread from disk to disk. Part of the success of the virus was that people were not aware of the potential problem, nor were virus scanners or cleaners available. It was possible, however, to inoculate uninfected disks against the virus by writing a signature to the disk. The virus would then think the disk was already infected and refrain from writing itself. The boy created the virus as a prank and quickly gained a reputation, so much so his friends stopped accepting disks from him. <laughs> I was boy-bodied when it arrived through the wicked game we played. I name the little monsters inside of me, how they clang and pull my cells, weaving their way through my history. A poem is a pressure point that won't stop bruising. Would you say I was clean and unscanned? I was signing my signature on your body and you held some unknown code ready to invade me. But I could never refrain from writing myself into your story. Blood carries messages and mine is forever loud and screaming. What exactly was the prank? To change me indefinitely? Or to make sure you always appear in my downloaded language? First erasure. <laughs>